Hey, what's up, guys? This is Blood Spawn, and this is my video. Um, what I have left from my for sale stuff. I had a couple people ask me to do like a recap or show what's left uh, after I sold so much stuff. So I'm gonna do that video now. Bunch of stuff still left. Bunch of awesome stuff, and I've actually added a whole bunch of new stuff. Um, so the new stuff I'll save for last. Um, so if you want to jump forward to that or if you want to just see anything and everything uh, all this stuff is cheap uh, People that bought from me last time can contest. I, I sold a lot of stuff for under 10 bucks uh, Most of the stuff 8 by 10s and stuff like that or or in the 5 to 10 range uh, Bigger names would be like 15 the baseballs are like 15 20 uh, So I'm just trying to get rid of a bunch of stuff, but you know give guys good deals, but still at least get something for it plus i have to ship it i'm not adding shipping charges to anything uh so here's what i got left okay so for eight by tens here is the stuff that i have left i still have the stephen ewing walking dead eight by ten uh sierra r&b singer tiffany michelle she's a model and poker player you can see the aces in her hands uh, Jackie Haas is a is a WWE diva. Got two of her, so pick which one you want. Velvet Sky, model and uh, I believe TNA diva. Terry Runnels, an old school WWE diva. Rose McGowan, been in a bunch of movies and TV shows. Sally Richardson. Sarah Paulson from the Spirit, Susan Ward, Vida Guerrera, Yancey Butler, Marley Shelton, Mary Elizabeth Weinstead from Scott Pilgrim, um, Masaya Lucia from George Lopez Show. Nadia Bajorlin from uh, Red, Red Line, I believe it's called. Natasha Alum, she's on True Blood. <clears throat> Laura Prepon from That 70s Show. Lake Bell. Uh, Emily Burgle from uh, Carry the Rage Part 2. Garcia Bueves, been in a bunch of TV shows. Amy Poehler. Really, really funny lady. Anna Lynn McCord. Got two of her as well. Barbara Najokova from Hostel. Serena Vincent from Cabin Fever. RJ Mitt from uh, Breaking Bad. Sean Patrick Thomas was in uh, Halloween Resurrection and Save the Last Dance. Steve Little from Eastbound and Down. Kevin James. That's a popular one. Adam Sandler. Everybody knows who he is. Andrew Nichol. Uh, he directed this movie, End Time. Justin Timberlake and Amanda Seyfried. Courtney Gaines from the original uh, Children in the Corn. That's a good one. Gina Lynn is an adult film star. I got two of her. Sorry for the glare. Tori Lane, adult film star. Uh, Last Exorcism, kind of surprised this one's still here. It's signed by uh, Ashley Bell, Daniel Stam, and Lewis Hertham. Eastbound and Down, it's one of my favorite ones. This is signed by Andy Daly, John Hawkins, Elizabeth DeRozo, Adam Scott, and Steve Little. One still in frames. Shannon Darty. Christina Milian. Tara Reed. This is Ashley Scott. Victoria Justice. Amy Smart. And Eva LaRue. So that's all the stuff that's left for the 8x10s. Alright, next on we're going to move to sign books. we got Play Baseball the Ripken Way. This is signed by 
Billy Ripken and Cal Ripken. I got Dean Koontz Hideaway. This has been book plated with a Dean Koontz book plate. <clears throat> Make Love the Bruce Campbell Way. Doesn't have the dust jacket. But here's the signature. With Love, Bruce Campbell, and it's been dated 52005, it looks like. I got two Jimmy Carter book plated books. I do also have a book plate that's not been put in a book if you don't want the books. That one and this one here. Both in really good condition. And there's the book plate for that one. Uh, Gretchen Wilson, Redneck Woman. That one's been hand signed and inscribed to Tim Howard, Gretchen Wilson. Kathy Lee Gifford. I can't believe I said that. Again, been signed and inscribed. Love to Mary, Marianne, Kathy Lee. WWE Diva China. If they only knew. Been hand signed, no inscription right there. It's her uh, real name, not China. Tito Ortiz, this is gonna hurt. And signed, Terry, thanks for your support, Tito Ortiz. Cody Hahn, there's the front of the book. And it, it has been just signed. And Walk on the Wild Side, Dennis Rodman. And sign right there. It's got a sticker on it there. And then the certificate with a matching sticker serial number. All right, that's it for signed books. I did add a couple, but I'll show them again last. All right, next up is just a bunch of random stuff. This is a adult magazine. Right there on the cover is Cagney Lynn Carter, and she signed it right there. Really nice signature. I also have two John Daly pieces. This is the actual flag that would hang on the pole right there with the stitching lion and everything. And then he signed it right there. And I also have a glove that he used. Here's the front of the glove. And it's been signed, and you can see some of the, there's like markings on the fingers and stuff. So this is definitely used somehow or another. <clears throat> signed uh, CDs. I have Juliette Lewis. She's an actress. Uh, Natural Born Killers. Ashanti. And Carrie Helson. These are all brand new in the cases. I just popped them open to swap out the sign for the unsigned, but the CDs have never even been taken out of these cases. All three of those. I have two unsigned Walking Dead volumes. These are the thicker volumes. They have like five or six comics in each one. This one's got Chandler Riggs on the front. This is number 12, and I also have number 9. So... Two Walking Dead volumes, really good condition. These sell for 15 bucks at the comic stores or anywhere else you can get them, but these would be under 10 bucks a piece. Okay, next up we have some signed baseballs. These are all TriStar certified. You go to the TriStar website, you punch in the sticker number that's on the ball, and you can print out your own certificates. Some of them come with these informational cards, which just tell you a little bit about the players. Um, some don't. So first up, we have Jeff Bur Jeff Burrows. This is the ball right here, signature, a 1974 AL. This one does come with the card. There's the name, 1974 American League MVP, two-time All-Star, and 1969 number one overall draft pick by Washington. So Jeff Burrows. <clears throat> Someone actually asked about this ball. Hasn't uh, been a done deal yet, but Marty Marion. Uh, this is 1944 National League MVP, eight-time All-Star, and three-time World Champion 
uh, with the Cardinals. So this is a really this is probably the best ball I have for sale. I uh, got a uh, Bake McBride. Find it. Uh, this one that sick at the ball starting to roll. Give me one second. There we go. Here's the Bake McBride, and it is inscribed as well. Uh, this is 1974 National League Rookie of the Year. That's a good one. Uh, Jerome Walton. I'm still surprised to have this one here. It's an old cubby. Uh, 1989 Rookie of the Year. This one does not come with a card. Neither does the Bake McBride. Uh, next up is Gerald Lard. Which is this one. This one is just signed and number inscribed. Comes with the card right there. Detroit Tigers starting catcher. 1998 second round draft pick by Oakland. 2007 second ranked catcher and throwing out base dealers at 40%. And has one of the most feared arms in baseball. That's a pretty good one. Uh, Tony Thomas. This is kind of my, uh, my prospect one. Anybody, this would be the cheapest of the balls. Does come with the card. Uh, 2007 Atlantic Coast Conference Player of the Year. All ACC first team in 2007. Named National Player of the Year by Collegiate Baseball. So, another, just a prospect ball, but that would be the cheapest out of all these. Next up, Gary Mathis Sr. Signed and inscribed National League Rookie of the Year in 73. Comes with the card. This is Gary Matthews Sr., Sarge, as I guess his nickname, 1973 National League Rookie of the Year, 1983 National League Championship MVP, 1979 All-Star. Uh, his son is Gary Math Matthews Jr., who plays for Los Angeles Angels, but that's uh, back whenever this card was made. And the last ball is Pat Listash. This is a pretty popular name back in the day. 1992 American League Rookie of the Year. This one does not come with a card. Again, these are all certified by TriStar. No TTM stuff. These are all certified balls with the stickers on them. All right, and the last thing left over from my old one. I thought I had sold this thing, uh, giving somebody a great deal on whoever picks this up, if anybody picks it up, but the person who wanted it backed out of it. So this right here is my uh, Walking Dead cast photo from Season 1. Right there. Uh, I don't know what size this is. It's not sure. Uh, to give you an idea, we'll take an 8x10. Here's what an 8x10 looks up, like up against it. So, much bigger. It's probably, I got a 12 by 12 by 14 or something like that. Uh, this one has been signed by four cast members. Um, big, the the larger cast members, uh, this one up here, uh, the only bad thing is it does say 2Dave. Some of these have written and made 2Dave. This is John Bernthal who played Shane right here. Up here, 2Dave, thanks for the support. Steven Ewing who plays Glenn. Over here, not pictured in the photo, but that's Norman Reedus, which is that's a great Norman Reedus signature. If you get them nowadays, you're not going to get a nice spot out when it's basically two letters and some scribble. And then down here, it says 2Dave. Uh, great to meet you. This is Lori Holden who plays Andrea. These were all signed in person at my first convention. I will be sending or emailing uh, pictures of each person signing. I have Andrea signing, Steven signing, and Norman signing. Uh, John Bernthal's picture, he's actually like holding it up and smiling at the camera. I didn't get him signing it, but he's holding it up. So proof pictures, if you will. Uh, those I will either send 4 by 6s or I'll email you uh, and then you can do with them what you want so uh, these right this right here when I got it uh, was 30 30 30 and Norman Reedus was 20 so 30 60 90 it cost me 110 not counting the price of the photo uh, if you get them now I know uh, uh, Lori is now up to 40 bucks Norman Reedus, Reedus is up to 40 bucks Glenn was still 30 last time I met him, and I haven't met him since, but he was 30 when I first met him. So this will probably cost you about $140, $150 just for the autographs now, not counting the photo. I'm going to let this go for 80 bucks. 
80 bucks will get you this signed by all four. Uh, nice photo, nice signatures. Like I said, the only thing is the three that are inscribed to Dave. Uh, but if that doesn't bother you, 80 bucks, nice uh, Walking Dead piece. And you can add to these Jeffrey DeMond signs, Chandler signs, Emma signs. They all do conventions if you wanted to add and finish this off. The only ones, uh, Sarah Wayne Callies and Andrew Lincoln, that you might have some work to do. So 80 bucks for the Walking Dead piece. All right, everything else is all new stuff. So we're going to start with another in-person that I got. I got this back in the day, but I have enough autograph autographs for this guy. This is actually a pretty cool piece, though. It's a uh, signed wood. This is actually a wood mirror. Uh, the guy who made it stuck, sticks his card on the back, and he hand signs it. Uh, and then it's signed by Candyman himself. Which this is kind of a play on the movie. You look in the mirror and you say his name, say my name, say my name. It's written all over it. That's Tony Todd right there. And right up here it says, To Dave, be blessed, Tony Todd. And then his little his little signature, little drawing or whatever the mark is that he marks on it. So anybody interested in horror fans, Candyman, Tony Todd fans, this was signed in person. Uh, and I do have a picture of me and him, but I don't have a picture of him signing this, but... It was signed in person at a horror convention. Uh, next up is a Brian McCann signed jersey. This was signed in person at Atlanta Braves game by Brian Lidner, uh, old YouTuber who lives in Atlanta. This is all frame. It won't come in the frame. I will be taking it out. But it's a Brian McCann jersey. It's a nice jersey. Uh, and then the signature right there on the number six. Signature and number inscribed. So. Any Braves fan or Brian McCann fans, got a jersey here for you. Uh, next up is two books. One sign, one's not. This is uh, Wendy Williams, Got the Heat. Uh, she's uh, on the radio and stuff now. Uh, but this book is signed right there. So I got that book. And this is a non signed book, but this is. Uh, Stephen King's Needful Things, big thick book, really, really nice condition. Uh, so anybody needs a Stephen King book, I forgot that, but it's not signed. All right, next up we have uh, this. I just got this actually in, uh, but I, I only read, I'll show you why I'm getting rid of it. I, I know this is a TTM, but anybody needs a uh, The Crow Blu-ray DVD cover, it's been signed by Ernie Hudson right down here. And the only reason why I said that is because somehow this DVD Blu-ray actually came with two DVD covers in it. So I sent one out to Ernie Hudson and one out to Marco Rodriguez. Uh, and I just like the, the blue matter. Marco Rodriguez, any he, he, uh, character inscribed it. So I don't need it. I can't even do anything with this because obviously I can't stick two covers in there. But that's how they were. They were back to back. So anybody that wants a crow, Ernie Hudson signed Blu-ray cover. Because this is a TTM, this would be really, really cheap. Um, but anybody interested in that? And next up, forgot I even had this thing. But this is a uh, Flyers signed puck number inscribed. This is Ryan Parrott. Parrott. He's uh, number 77. I just stuck this on there so I remember who it is. Ryan Parrott signed puck. This is a real puck. There you go. So any hockey fans, I know my nose is driving me crazy right now. And all the rest of the stuff is trading cards. Never did anything with this the first video, so I figured I'd bust out all the stuff I had in my trade uh, thing. Anybody interested in rookies and index cards, I'll show you my little uh, setup in my box. I have these. They're kind of like grab bags, like red skins. These are all rookies and stuff. So anybody has a team in mind. Wants you know a little grab bag of rookie cards and stuff. Let me know what team you want. All right, so the pulled out cards. This one I pulled out just because they won the Super Bowl, and this guy was a pretty uh, impact player, Dennis uh, Pita. He's a uh, he was a rookie last year, I believe he's the tight end. Uh, but this is a uh, Crown Royal. You can see the blue up top. This is a, a numbered variant, uh, 39 out of 100. So, Dennis Peter, Raven fans. I got this uh, Blaine Gabbert, Tops Chrome Rookie. This is a purple, the purple refractor, numbered to 499. 
I got a Tommy Frazier signed press pass card. Maurice Jones Drew. Huh, Maurice Jones Drew. Dual jersey card, number to 99. I got a Chris Durham signed rookie card for the Seahawks. That's numbered to 499. David uh, Davin Meggett, Houston Texans rookie autograph. Uh, number to 999. Got this really nice Pat Devlin Letterman signed. Uh, this is the University of Delaware. It's the only reason I picked this up. Uh, but it's numbered to 75. Uh, TJ Graham Bills uh, Jumbo Jersey. Numbered to 199. I uh, got any Cowboys fans or Mike Jenkins fans. I have seven or eight signed uh, rookie cards of his. Just go through them real fast. These are all autograph rookie cards of his. Uh, another one. This guy's. Uh, I had a really good year and stuff is starting to go up in price. Another Cowboys, uh, Dwayne Harris. These are all signed rookie cards of his. Some of them are low variant numbers, but they're all autographed rookie cards of his. Dwayne Harris for the Cowboys. Uh, I've got some Lanier Millers. These ones, I just had this weird thing with this card for a while. These are plates with patch signed autograph rookie cards. They're numbered to 25, so there's only 25 of them in the world, and I have two. The Steve McGee backup quarterback for the Cowboys jersey card, numbered to 299. Another Steve McGee jersey card, not numbered. Got a Tony Romo Fleer rookie card. This has got Brian, uh, or no, Cliff Kingsbury, Tony Romo, and Brian St. Pierre on it. Romo rookie card. Jason Witten rookie card, same uh, same brand. Jason Witten, Dallas Clark, and L.J. Smith rookie cards. <clears throat> uh, John Phillips signed rookie card, Cowboys backup tight end. Sean Chap is signed rookie. Another Lanier Miller signed rookie, number to 250. An Anthony Spencer rookie uh, jersey. I got some Demarcus Ware stuff. You guys know I PC this guy heavily, but these are all actual doubles. Uh, some are rookies. Got two of the top, three of the tops. Tops Finest. Uh, tops uh, Turkey Red. The Bazooka. Uh, Bowman. And Prestige. Those are all DeMarcus Ware rookies. And I actually have doubles of these uh, DeMarcus Ware jersey cards. So DeMarcus Ware jersey card. Demarcus Ware gold label jersey card number to 299 and I actually have two of this patch it's all one color patch uh, but is numbered 7 of 50 so Demarcus Ware patch number to 50 and a Sean Lee rookie card this is a nice card contenders this guy's blown up his prices have gone up too a Stephen McGee Autograph Letterman, rookie, backup quarterback for the Cowboys. This is number 200. A Stephen McGee uh, jersey and stamp, souvenir stamp. This is an actual stamp right here. There's a little piece of a jersey right there. This is numbered to 99. Jason Witten and Aaron Ross, dual jersey card. So Jason Witten, number 250. Jason Witten rookie or not rookie uh, playmaker jersey card. I don't believe this one's numbered, not numbered. And then the best two I have. This is a really nice Mike Jenkins. This is a National Treasures autograph rookie card, and it is numbered to 99, and it's numbered 31 of 99, which is his jersey number. So a really nice card. And this Felix Jones. Exquisite gold autograph rookie numbered five of 25. This card's really, really nice. You can see it how it looks, the, the foilness to it, the gold sharpie. Really nice Felix Jones autograph rookie card. 
All right, guys, that is it. Anything you're interested in, comment down below. PM me. I'll shoot you a price. Believe me, it'll be a good one. And uh, anything, anybody helps me out, Any, no matter how big or how small, uh, every dollar helps out. So uh, hope, hopefully I'll get some more hits off of this one. Thanks, guys, for watching. Talk to you soon.